Hey everyone, Captain John here. We are going to be taking a trip to the Monterey Bay Aquarium today, which is really exciting. I have not been there in several years, but I just want to show this real quick. Check out all of these bus test express buses just hanging out, getting ready to be deployed. <clears throat> I have never seen this many getting ready to go out before. That's pretty cool. That means we're ramping up business, we're staying busy. I like it. So now we're just going to look for our bus. Speaking of staying busy, look how empty the lot is. We have a lot of buses out. That's really exciting. I'm very happy about that because uh, that means Motor Coach is back in business, guys. We are super busy. So anyways, we're looking for our bus for today. We're gonna head on out. And today we get to uh, drive in this beauty, this MCI. Well, hit the road. It's definitely one of the nicer MCIs. I like the leather seats in here, and I like the color scheme. It's really nice. Anyways, we're picking up uh, a school, so a school field trip. So definitely uh, one of my favorite types of trips because, uh, let's see here, it is a, it's a Denaire Middle School science trip. Science trips, so that's nice. Uh, see, a great thing about these kinds of trips is uh, you know, the kids are always super excited to get to get away for the day, uh, to get to go somewhere far away from home, from school. So you get to see all that excitement. It's just a lot of positive energy, a lot of fun. And plus you get to uh, experience uh, some of these venues. Uh, like today, we'll be able to go inside and see the aquarium. Uh, they do allow the drivers to attend uh, whatever function's happening today. So stick around, I will document it here for you guys. Let's go, let's have some fun. And we made it here to Denaire Middle School. Getting ready to pick up our students and put their uh, sack lunches under the bus. Thankfully, we have some bus parking only spots here from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. And the aquarium is just right there at the end of the road. I thought I was going to park much further. So I'm very happy about that. Just make sure you uh, turn your wheels in or out depending where you park because they will give you tickets around here. Okay, and we made it here to the aquarium. Let's go check this place out. It's been many years since I've been here. So I'm excited. All right, so I was just walking by this lady that works here. Check this out. She's got a handful of jellyfish. I don't know if you can see that. There you go on camera. There you are. Wow, that is so cool. And there is the actual Monterey Bay. And you'll see we got the ocean's edge. And another section over here. I'm not sure what it's called. So let's go. Let's go to the ocean's edge first. Ocean's Edge. Now from what I do remember from this aquarium is it is massive and as you can see already this is definitely one of the best aquariums you could ever visit. This is beautiful. Look at that big boy. back to see kind of get an idea of how tall that structure is. And then uh, this, all the seaweeds like actually swaying with it like it's in the ocean. That is pretty cool.
water is like filling up to the top. You know, like overflows into here. Interesting. There's the outside of that structure that was throwing water over the glass. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. What's up guys? Beautiful that is. Got the bay there in the background. You got this little pool of water here. It's nice and clear. Got an airplane going around in the distance. It's a beautiful day here in Monterey. Very nice. So that was the uh, the ocean side. So let's go check out the other side. See what they got going on. And on the other side, we are greeted by a very large whale. I'm guessing that's a, uh, a sperm whale. Could be wrong. I am not a well expert. There's the baby. So obviously I was wrong. It is a gray whale. Not a sperm whale, gray whale. After walking up these stairs and figuring out how out of shape I am, on this side it says the open sea. What did it say on the other one? The open ocean? I forgot already. I thought this was a TV screen or a big projector, but now that is 
a huge piece of glass, huge aquarium. Or the video can show how massive this thing is, but check it out, the silhouette of these people standing there. These guys are standing over there, look how huge that is. Amazing. See some shark, ooh, a hammerhead shark. Ooh, I see a turtle. We got some sea otters. Oh, well, there's one right there. Oh, sorry, the glass is closer than I thought. It's a sea otter right over there. It's chilling in the sun or in the shade, actually. Oh, there's another one over there. I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm not too active. Oh, there's one right there, too. Oh, they're like hiding. But that's just one right there. They're big. Big boys. They're just being lazy. They don't want to do nothing. It's too early. They're not swimming around. Ocean homes, splash zone. Coral Reef Kingdom. Colorful. I was like, man, this aquarium in your living room. Look how colorful that is. That is so cool. Sylvester or Geyser? I don't know how to read it. I don't think they're all named. It's pretty cool. There's Bourbon. There's Velma. I'm just gonna go for a swim. She jumped for it. Let's see where she went. Where did Velma go? Oh, Velma's gonna go into the some fish. Oh my god, there's fish down there. Hello. Fish on the floor, and this is their that's their lunch. California Moray, who goes with the eels? That guy right there. Yeah. Look at him stare at you.
So the aquarium is located at the Cannery Row here in Monterey. And uh, you guessed it, Cannery Row is called that because they would can all their sardines and fish right here. This is what it probably kind of looked like back in the day, one of the warehouses. Kind of a little mock-up of what it would look like. It looks like it's real. <laughs> that's what the assembly line looked like. I wonder how that smelled in there. Oh my gosh, you come home at the end of the day just smelling like fish and sardines. And yeah, I don't know if I could do that. a lot of women work there also. I don't know the history guys, but it looks like a lot of women working in the factory. According to the pictures. I'm not a history buff, so I'm not going to go read everything, but that's what it looks like. Very cool. Well, and there you have it. That was the Monterey Bay Aquarium here on Cannery Row in Monterey Bay, California. Definitely an amazing aquarium. It's definitely one of those aquariums you walk in, into saying, oh, I could walk through it in 20 minutes. It's just, just a bunch of fish tanks. Uh, but realistically, you could spend all day there. I mean, we're only here for four hours and I could have easily stayed in there that entire time just looking at all the exhibits. Beautiful, beautiful place. I highly recommend checking it out if you're in the area or if you live close to the area. So anyways, I'm gonna go down Cannery Row and actually check out this area because inside the aquarium, as much as I want to support the local business, I do not want to spend $18 on a hamburger that doesn't even include fries or a drink. So I'm gonna go check out something down here on the street and see what we can find. So just like any other touristy spot, definitely a lot of gift stores and places to grab some coffee and food. Very nice area. A lot of fun. Here on the corner of Prescott and Cannery Row. Just down the street from the aquarium. Like I said, a beautiful day here in Monterey. Let's go check out this fish hopper. From what I can tell so far, all the restaurants I've looked at, everything's pretty much the same price as the aquarium when it comes to food, so. Well, just gonna have to pay $18 for a hamburger, I guess. Smile, you're on the fish hopper webcam. Well, now you're on the Captain John channel, so. Back at ya. There we are, like the fish hopper. Let's check it out. All right, so I asked for the best of you in the house, and this is what they gave me. So I had a $20 hamburger, we had some $20 fish and chips. Wow, beautiful, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Nice view from the restaurant. Thank you. It's very good. Thank you All so right. much. Thank it's you. Great okay. to see you in the house. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Very romantic for you. Oh, for myself, yes. Okay. Thanks again. So there's where we ate, right up top there at the restaurant. Come down here and take a look at the beach. You can't be right next to the beach and not come down and check it out. See an enemy right there? 
see all the crabs walking around also. There's some crabs crawling. See an enemy? Very pretty. We just hang out here all day for sure. It's just beautiful. Love it. Too bad I can't zoom in with this camera, but if you look about right there, there's actually a starfish on the side, a little rock right there. So we don't have to go to the aquarium to see something, you just come right out here to the beach. You can't tell too, but there's like a bunch of little crabs running around. And you can't have a tour spot on the water without a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company restaurant. We've been there pretty far before. It's pretty good. It's not bad. So I'm, I'm sure you've heard the expression, all drains lead to the ocean. Well, there it is. There's the drain. It's coming out into the bay, which leads to the ocean. Just can't get over how beautiful it is here. I love it. This is a restaurant. I just ate it right there. The fish hopper. It's actually pretty good food. Highly recommend it. At the fish and chips. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for tagging along with me. I'm so happy to share my journey with you as always. And we will see you down the road.